Thank you for stopping by Indie Dave Comics channel. I am, of course, your host, Indie Dave Comics, writer of Oddity, which is ending its campaign on Monday. So make sure you uh, get in on that. And let me mute my other thing. Which is ending. All right. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, so Writer of Oddity will be uh, closing the regular campaign on Monday. We want to get a good, strong start on that, or a good, strong finish. So uh, check that out. We're trying to get to over ten grand, and we are, I think, just $400 shy of 10000 and that's going to open up that Sashi pinup. So definitely check that out. Today we're doing something a little bit different. I've done, I think I've done one or two of these, but we're going to, I've got these, uh, I've been getting back into sports cards. So I've gotten, uh, uh, I went to the drugstore today and I found these packs here for, let's see, five bucks and five bucks and about eight bucks, so about $20 for this whole, you know, three card pack. Uh, I've gotten these 75 I've gotten these 75 card packs before for the football cards, and uh, I actually pulled a $40 card, at least lists on eBay, between, well, it, it listed between $15 and $40, uh, or more even. But, uh, yeah, I pulled one out of these uh, football card packs. I don't really expect that all the time. That was, uh, it was a rookie card, uh, Aaron Luck. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so we pulled that out of one of these before. So we're going to see what we pull out of here now. Uh, I found this. They had $100, or not $100, 100 baseball card packs, too. So we're going to open these up and see what's inside. This pack, uh, let's see, uh, this is one hobby pack, which I guess is the high-end packs, uh, two regular packs, and a bonus card. And you can see the bonus card in the front called Signal Caller. So uh, we'll open that one up first because I haven't busted into any of those ones yet. The glue on these things is insane. Oh, good. I didn't even have to cut into it. All right. I love you, Daddy. Hey, I love you, too. Dave Jr.'s in here. Little Dave. Uh, so this is the card that it comes with. Uh, Phil Rivers. I'm going to... I'm going to be totally honest with you i am not really into sports that much although i do like sports cards and i like sports cards a lot of it is the design a lot of it's the uh the chance to do the research after and see if uh, the valuable rookie card that's gonna pay my kids college but uh, yeah so let's see what do we got here this was uh what the heck was this this was a 2019 is it oh yeah 2019 leaf draft football card so that's this year actually let's see josh jacobs all american and miles boykin if you are familiar with any of these guys oh joe frago's here hey frago uh let's see yeah some of these packs will get i'll get cards from like 1987 and 1984 so, uh, yeah, so th they're actually fun to open. Uh, what I really like about cards is the design work. I like the way, you know, some of these cards look. How much stock there is down here? <laughs> you, can hear Indy, uh, you can hear Dave Jr. in the back, who's not supposed to be talking. Uh, let's see. This um, one's Mac we Wilson. Have this, we just need a band-aid. Okay, see? See how I, like, said no talking, and then he continues talking? That's the level of uh, listening I get from my children. Not yet, Patrick. There we go. Mac Wilson. We need to find a band William. And here we have a Bo Jackson card. Ooh, Bo Jackson. All right. So typical kids. All right, what do we got here? Oh, Joe Frago got a super cool Emmett Smith one out of the same type of box. Yeah, these boxes are uh, a lot of it's junk. But, I mean, it's kind of fun to dig through them. Like I said, I really, I'm really, i really into the design more than anything else. And then I like doing the research afterwards and finding out that I got a card that uh, is pretty cool. So, uh, let's see. So, let's see. let's see. What's this pack here? Oh, here we go. Ooh. Prestige 2013 football cards. 
Anybody name me a uh, a rookie I should be looking for for twenty third from twenty thirteen? <laughs> Rare logic, yeah, that's what they're supposed to do, not listen. Daddy, what a new one. See? Yeah. Quite that. All right, so I got two of the kids in here. One of them is trying to be quiet. All right, so let's see. Oh, what were these? I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, 2013 Prestige Panini, what? which also makes yeah. which also makes Don Ross cards. All right, so we've got Dallas wow. Cowboys linebackers. Sean Lee. Let's see. We've got a Tory Smith. Daddy. Yes, I will open those up in a bit. I can see some of stuff. Yes, I know. Shush. Uh, James Jones. Frago probably knows more about these cards than I do. But uh, like I said, I like I like going afterwards and doing the research and stuff and. I, in the 90s, I used to collect all kinds of cards. Oh, look. Oh, my God. I got a hit, dude. Do you know anybody named Zyke, named uh, Zach Dysert? Wait. Is, the, is that one? This is the first hit I've ever got. It's a rookie. Zach Dysert. And it's signed? Signed. Autograph card. This is the first one of these kinds of cards I've ever gotten. An autograph card. So that's pretty sweet. That's a sweet find. Is it a rookie too? It is a rookie. Now I don't know who Zach Dysert is. What? Patrick. Oh yeah, she's excited too. Patrick. Yeah. So uh, wow. Which, which team? Uh, let me see. He is. It looks like the Broncos. Wow, that's pretty <gasps> freaking sweet. I have never pulled a hit card. At it. Usually, a hit card is either an autograph or a uh, or a memorabilia card. It has usually like a piece of the jersey or something like that. That's a fucking <laughs> sweet ass find. But it's not. It's a Netflix. It's not a Netflix. Extra points. Look at that! Wow, I'm actually really excited about that one. William, you have to be quiet. I am really excited about that one. Uh, there's another rookie card, but it's not. You know, it's not. You're only going to get. You only get one of those in every, you know, I don't know what the odds are. You know what? Oh, look at the odds. Where, what happened to that? I don't know. I'll find the, oh, here we go. Uh, let's look at what these odds are. The odds are that I'm not going to be able to read that because that's way too small printing. But, uh, oh, man, I'm actually really excited. I didn't think I was going to pull anything like that. Here's Richard Sherman. Matt Flynn, Pierre Garçon, and this is a rookie, Tyler Bray. Tyler Bray, this is from 2013. 300 card base set, 200 commons, 100 rookies. There's your, that's what it is. You have three. That's what the set is, but if you look yeah. at all those other, it'll give you all the odds of pulling one of these, uh, one of these hit cards. All right, and this one. Extra point purple. Well, don't read them all black off. Are... Don't read them all off. All right. Um, mm -hmm. If you find the thing about autograph cards, check it out. All right. So this one's uh, Don Russ 2016. I don't know what the chances are of pulling somebody out of this one. But... Extra point signatures. There you go. 100 cards out of the entire set are. There's only 100 of these? No. Out of the base set, there are 300. I believe it, it made it sound like 100 are. Extra point signatures. Still pretty cool. Hey, you know what? I will take it. There's probably some I will take it. There's probably actually a better way to tell than just me trying to read this. It might be a hundred <laughs> cards total. It might. Rare Logic says college fund. Well, we'll see. I have to check up his stats and see if he was actually a a decent player. I, I don't I, know anything about I him. I couldn't tell you because that font is almost hard for me to. Yeah, read. it's. An... Yeah, that's uh. We'll see. All right. So let's see. Now I need you guys to be quiet again. So this was 2016. Uh, let's see. Ron Jaworski, Philadelphia Eagles. And let's see. This is uh, Green Bay Packers, Jordy Nelson. Uh, let's see. Barshad Breland. 
Uh, let's see. Matt Forte, New York Jets. Uh, let's see. Austin Seferian Jenkins. JJ Watts. JJ Watts. Houston Texans. Uh, let's see. Production line 14 T. Oh, 14 touchdowns. It's a cool looking card. I kind of like. One of the things, again, one of the things I really like about sports cards is the designs are actually really cool. Oh, I got a rated rookie card. Cody Kessler. You know anything about Cody Kessler? Is he, is he any good? All right. And what is it? Super Bowl Kid Reporter. I don't know what this is. Some kind of insert card. You and your child, you win two tickets to Super Bowl LI. <laughs> Dad, do we actually get so, two tickets? No, we don't. Because uh, one. LI was who, like six yeah. years ago? Yeah, I'm not sure. Five years ago. Yeah, wow. LI, uh, yeah that's uh, 2016. So it was either the 2016 or 2017. This is the 2016 card. So probably the 2017 uh, Super Bowl is ah, what we would have won. Patrick, can you please come back? If you won. What are the odds we win four pretty, years later? Pretty slim. What happened to my knife? Um. Oh. oh well, were you playing my pocket knife? No. All right. I've opened these up before, and the glue is freaking insane on these things, so I'm going to cut into this, this box here. Don't rip them. I could probably try. So that rip that card. I haven't like I said. I don't know anything about the player. The signed card. Uh, it could be worth five or ten dollars. Could be worth a few hundred. Could it be real cash prizes? Well, Dad, I'll have to look it up. What I'll do is I'll look it up on eBay. Open this one. No, not right now. Not right. William, stop. Ripped it. Stop. Leave it. William. Game. The glutes. All right, so let's dig into this. There we go. All right. Now these, uh, there isn't even a pack in this one. A lot of these will come with a pack. It says it's supposed to have a pack, and there's no pack in it. Ooh, I got super chipped. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. There's no pack of cards in there. Uh, let's see. But what I do have... There's a ton of single cards. Yes. I got a Vinny Testa Verde. That's a kind of a really cool chromatic color. Chromatic kind of card. Yeah. I so, do I do at least I heard the I've heard the name Vinny Testa Verde. What year is this? This one's a Fleer Mystique. Uh, I'm not gonna go over every year of every card, but looks like a nineteen ninety nine Fleer card. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Herschel, oh, Herschel Walker. It's another name I recognize. Uh, let's see. And this one is Tony Tony Brackens. Don't it yet. I have to go back. Uh, can't. Is this? Season ticket. I have to. No, I can't spawn it. Why? Not I don't know what this is. Oh, probably because there's two colors. In the world, Edger and James. Here we go. Edger and James. It's a one of season ticket card. I don't know what that means. Can I? What can you what? Uh, get the pack at the back. Hold on. Uh, let's see. This one, it's a, you can tell this one's kind of older. It's got kind of a smooth matte finish and it's got the rough back a little bit. So, this is going to be in the 90s. 1990 Fleer James Hasty, uh, Hobie Brenner. This is an older card. This has got to be in the 80s. Uh, 19, oh, no, 1990. So it's you right, right the after the You don't have manufacturer sealed pack? Patrick. No, there wasn't a, there wasn't a pack. Because it says this packet is guaranteed it's supposed, Yeah, it's supposed, it's supposed to have a pack in it, and there's no pack in it. And one guaranteed manufacturer sealed pack. There was no pack in it. I grabbed the wrong. And it's funny because I can look in there, so I should have been able to see. It's not another one of those freaking kid. Oh, oh, and they jit me with these two stupid kid reporter cards, Ugh, contest cards. Oh man, that's how they do it. Boo! Well, you know these are these are pretty much junk packs anyway. No, never mind. They're pretty much junk packs anyway. So if you get anything good, it, I mean it's your luck. Top stars. 
Uh, let's see, Keenan, Keenan, one in McCardle. Four. No, will uh, one in take four. that away from him. Okay, so here's the info for that other one. One in four packages on average include a hit card. Hey, you can just seriously cut with the glue. Yes, but yeah. I don't want you playing with the knife. That rookie hit you got. Um, that's one in four, is what it says. One in four of these packs, and it wasn't in that pack. It was in this pack. It was in the prime pack. Okay. Two so those were all packaged. So it, I mean, it it goes based on what's on the package. I saw it. Hey, William, how about you not talk anymore? Uh, let's see. Yeah. So we got Courtney Hawkins. Uh, let's see. Harold Green. Oop. One's already on second stage. <laughs> All right, sorry. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh, I think I recognize this name, Yancey Thigpen. I think I remember seeing him, a wide receiver for Tennessee. Uh, let's see, okay, Willie okay. Galt, Patrick, journeyman quarterback. That was for who? I completely missed. Uh, let's see, no. Willie Galt. Patrick, uh, kick that. Tim Cumry, Crumry, Dolphins, Bob, Bob Bumhauer, and let's see, we still got baseball cards to go. I know a little bit. Actually, no, I don't know a lot of new names for baseball. Mike Wilcher and Albert Bentley. Jeff Herod. Ooh, 2017 rookie, Tim Patrick. You said my name? Do we know Tim Patrick? Uh, let's see. Can you be quiet now? And let's see. John Ross the third, And Dakota Procup. Ooh, another 2017 rookie. I've never heard of him, so probably not worth anything. Uh, let's see. We got... Evan Engram, Seth Russell, Seth Russell, uh, Rashad Jennings. Oh, you know what? This is a uh, – hold on. I'm going to pull these cards out here because these are all die cuts. Do you have a world of an, as well? I don't know. It's like a neat set. Do you have a world of houses? Uh, let's see. Yeah, Shh, I, where do the die cuts begin? You know which world that is? World – if you don't know what Two. die cuts are, yeah. we, need, we need one that will guide. educate you. All right, we'll put these Traveling aside. Merchant? Guide. Traveling guide? Just regular guide. Yeah. You two, really? Two. All right, uh, let's see. Brandon Coleman. We'll get to the die cuts here in a minute. Uh, Xavier Su. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Xavier Su Afilo. That's. Uh, D Ford, uh, Gilbert, Demarcus Ware. That's a kind of a cool looking card. Uh, yeah, that's actually kind of a cool looking card there. D Ford, Aaron Rodgers. Dude, that sounds like a name I should know. Is Aaron Rodgers a good name? It looks like it's a hit card. <laughs> he said, I should have you be Googling these. Googling these names. They're playing video games in the background. So, oh, let's see. Aurelius Ben. Uh, Daryl Revis. I think this is a hit card, but I can't. No, it's, it's called hit, but it's not a hit card. Okay. A hit card is an actual... It'll actually have, sometimes it has like a piece of the jersey and stuff on it. Giovanni Bernard. Another boss. The score, I don't know, what, what year are these scorecards? They're actually kind of a cool design. 2014 Panini. I actually like the design on these. Mario Williams. Ryan Matthews. Tavon Austin. All right. Uh, let's see. We have a few more here, and then we'll get to these die-cut cards. 
Actually, no, we'll get to the die cut cards now. Start this cutting is... through the glue. No, see, if you can, I don't know if you can see that. There you go. You can see on the edges of the card. It's cut. Yeah, it's got kind of a weird cut design. That looks like I can cut myself on it. Can I see? That's kind of neat. So that's Julio Jones. And there's a whole stack of these in here. Rashad Jennings. Hey, the metal. I hope you like sports cards more than I do. Uh, let's see. Rashad. Oh, that's kind of a neat card. Rashad Jennings, and it's all like silvery. Careful with those, buddy. Uh, let's see. Jaquez Rogers. Oh, these are all kind of chromey type cards. Daryl Revis, New England Patriots. I am a Patriots guy. Hey. I'm originally from. Who was it? New England. Daryl Revis. I don't recognize. Oh, it's one of the die cut cards. Yeah. Hey. No, it's not a throwing star, buddy. It's not a. Th you can if you want to throw cards. All right, throw uh, Russell Wilson, from who is he? Seattle Seahawks. These cards, by the way, are all. 2014, it looks like. Hey, the uh, year when uh, Patriots won over Seahawks? I think so. I don't know. Uh, let's see. This is not his rookie card. I think this is second year card. Uh, let's see. Dwayne Bow. And LaShawn McCoy. They're actually really neat. Um, AJ Green, Cincinnati Bengals. And Reggie Bush, Detroit Lions. All right. Uh, let's see. Then we got Regime Ismail. And let's see. What? You said that is gold dust. Let's see. So that's what your Emmett Smith was like, had that oval kind of shape. Uh, let's see. This one is a Lamont Jordan. Kind of a – what year was this one? Lamont Jordan. It's like an 05. It's kind of a, I don't know, kind of a boring design. Not all that interesting. A lot of these got the kind of uh, foily kind of logo type stuff. That one's cool. That one's Greg Cragen. Wesley Walker. Antonio Gates. Is there another side to these cards? Yeah, on the back is the stats. You can't have just one side. Because if the other side, if it didn't have another side, it'd be blank and you'd be able to see through. Yes. Uh, oh, this one's kind of an old one, looks like. Wait, Ooh, we're getting into the older cards. Oh, guess not. No, it, I don't know. I always get confused with the 1990 cards. Is when I guess they started making the transition to the cooler paper and the, the cool finishes and stuff. Uh, let's see. This one. Oh, got a Warren Sapp card. I do recognize Warren Sapp, or at least the name. Uh, let's see. This is a 2001 Warren Sapp card. Uh, Terry Allen. Uh, let's see. This is a cool Stadium the Club. Who is it? Kevin Expert Kevin Kale. Mark Kelso, Buffalo Bills. Another Stadium Club. Uh, let's see. Looks like JJ Stokes. I do recognize JJ Stokes, or at least the name. Uh, this one's a pretty cool card. Kind of like, this one's a Thomas. I've already made. It is Derek Thomas from the Chiefs. I really like that kind of thing. Uh, let's see. McDuffie. DJ McDuffie. Why? Why? Keith Jones. Another kind of, I don't know. Why? Kind of boring looking design. Because we need to get some. Fleer 1990. Yeah. Um, Netherheart? Uh, I got a lot of these pro set. That's, I don't know what that's all about. I'm. Like, it's not a big name like Topps or Don Ross Pro Set. Oh, that's um Super Bowl Superman, Marv Fleming. Let's see, Michael Brooks. 
Kelvin Martin. Uh, another kind of. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, kind of boring looking card. Uh, Charles Haley. And uh, checklist. Fleer 90 checklist. Does me no good because these are all random cards. Look out. You okay? Thurman Nobody Thomas. You okay, buddy? Oh, my son just fell off the bed. Let me see. Where'd you hurt yourself? Into the landing on his arm. But he's putting weight on it, so it's not right. broken. Just lay down. Not on the arm. Lay down on your other arm. All right. You'll be okay, buddy. Tony Gonzalez. I hope he's really fast. Pro line. Who is this? Ronnie Lott. That's kind of a cool picture. You know, he's hurt so bad he's going back to playing video games. <laughs> Fleer 94. Who is this? Don't you know video games solve all problems? Yeah. Kansas City. Yeah. Oh, it's kind of worn out. I don't even recognize who this is. Oh, Tim Tim Grunhard. Uh, let's see. ESPN football card. Oh, here we go. No, it's like upper deck or something. Or is it? Yeah, it's upper deck. ESPN. That's uh what's his name? Trent Green. Lamar Lathon. Uh Trent Green again. Didn't I just have a Trent Green card? Kendall Bell. Denarius Moore. What are you doing? He's bouncing because that solves all problems. It also scares the crap out of the kids. Denarius levels. Moore. Uh, let's see. Another Trent Green. <laughs> Extra sharp. Michael Turner. Oh, this is a cool card. It's Prestige 2010. They're so, so Michael Turner. That's kind of a cool, nice. cool design. I like that. Uh, let's see. This one is Bernie Kosar. Oh, I recognize the name Bernie Kosar from the pro set again. Uh, let's see. Oh, this one's like all. You can't really see it, but the card has all kinds of weird marks on it. Cliff Grouchy or Gross. Ernest Givens. Uh, let's see. This one's in the. Oh, that's a Junior Seau card. I recognize Junior Seau. It's kind of a cool looking card. Byron Leftwich. Well, Brian Westbrook. I'm just looking down. What you're getting with me? Rob Moore, 1999 season opener. Uh, another one, Marshall Falk. Oh, I remember Marshall Falk when I had a when I had the one year I did uh, fantasy football. I believe he was yeah he was my running back. He was one of my running backs, Marshall Falk. It's a good card. Gil Bird. Uh, let's see. Yeah, 1990 card, worthless. Yeah. All the designs are kind of blah on those cards. Uh, let's see. Chrome is one of the more popular types. Mm, yeah, I mean, some of them. Let's see. Falling off a bed equals not fun. He's falling off a bunk bed. Well, this isn't a bunk bed. It's just a regular bed. Though he has fallen off the bunk bed. Yeah, but eh, he gets over it quick. He's young. I let's think see. We got Pinnacle. Gilbert. Let's see. Steve Tasker. Brad Hopkins. William Frizzle. Uh, Daryl Talley. What year is this? 1990. Yeah. All these 1990 cards are kind of blah. I like the old 1984 design tops. 
I was actually co I collected baseball cards back then to uh, Kevin Mack, Clay Matthews. This one's kind of a cool looking car. Stadium Club. I collected cards in the '90s, and when I was a kid, for a little while, I collected baseball cards. I used to have a whole bunch of 1984s. I remember really liking that design. Whenever I think of baseball cards, I think of uh, the 1984 Topps design. Let's see, another kind of boring one, Willie Galt. That's great. Let's see, Clarence Verdon for the Colts. I don't know. I haven't looked at close. I don't know how many of these are rookies or not. I don't think I've seen any that are or not that many that are marked rookie. Uh, Thomas Davis, Logan Woodside, and last of the football cards is going to be Arthur Cox. All right, now let's bust into the baseball. Let me check. My phone has been blowing up. Isn't your Twitter on? Oh, let's see. Up? Oh, she said, make sure I feed the kids. It's just my wife. I'm going to let her know that dinner's cooking right now. I don't think it really matters because the animal have already fed themselves. Dinner's cooking. All right, so this is the kind of thing you get from my live feeds. Me talking to my wife on the... Me texting my wife. All right. So, uh, let's see. There's that one. Let's put that one aside. And let's take all these football cards and put them aside, and we'll... Dive right into the baseball cards. I think it's my faster than you. Right, there's my knife. You can't help my mother. Like it. And if it's possible, I know less about baseball than I do about football. I know more about football. You do? He was in football for a little. Well, yeah, but I mean, you don't know who all the players are. Hello? I know some of the current ones just because lately I've been getting into them. But this is going to be a crapshoot. Dad, how long have you been There's collecting one, Again, and one pack. This one didn't come with a pack. What is Look it? at that. It says 100 baseball cards plus one pack. Does, it did does, not, that, does that count that as a pack? Oh, no. It's supposed to come with like a pack, a pack, one of the, like a pack of cards. Huh? That, either that's really cheesy on them. Yeah. Or, uh, or who that... is this? All right, Fairfield. Whoever packs these, you need to start putting part. You need to start putting actual packs in the cards. Yeah, Fairfield. Now, to be fair to them, I should be able to look on the side here and see that there's no pack. So I just didn't check. So now I know to make sure I'm checking. Oh, awesome. Card series that I recognize. All right. Let's see what we got here. So this one's probably a 1990. Looks like it. What, 19. Oh, no. Look at that. 1987, I think. Yeah, it looks like a 1987 card. Uh, Don Russ. Scott Nielsen. Wait, the lava wasn't hurting me. Brewers. Prince Fielder from the Brewers. It's kind of a neat card. It's all right. Uh, these I remember because these were the years I was collecting in the 90s with these stadium club cards. And they got kind of the gold foil names. And that's uh, Stan Belinda. My grandfather might know baseball cards better than I do. Probably. Is it uh, Brady Anderson. Edward Nelson Sprague Jr. That is. Uh, let's see. This is, oh, a Jason Giambi. I remember that name sounds familiar. Seems like I should know that name. Good cat. Uh, this one, I think, is a rookie card. Because, what year is this? Oh, no, guess not. 
No, never mind. It's not a rookie card. Not even close. I must be, I must be thinking of a different Frazier. This is uh, Todd Frazier. Uh, this is a recent card. It's 2018. Yes, Todd Frazier, 2018. Sid Bream. Uh, Danny Cox. Put his home. Oh, wait, hold on. There we go. Danny Cox. The guy that is very much alive. Jack Armstrong yeah. from the Marlins. John David what? Burkett. No, there. Okay. Ron Karkovice. Karkovice? Uh, let's get this card here. Separated from the other card. I think that, yeah, there is another card in there. There we go. Is this extra mode wall? And uh -huh. this one's got to be an older one. Yeah, 1988, looks like. 1988 Tops Gary Reedus. One of the cool things is getting kind of the older cards out of these packs. I mean, they're junk usually, they're wax junk, but Ken Patterson, Tom Lampkin, Rene Gonzalez. Who is that? Let's see. Greg Harris. You with <laughs> See you later, Rare. We'll talk to you in a little bit. Uh, Chris Johnson. Are you streaming tonight, Dad? I'm streaming right now. What the heck is this? Tops Attacks. Wait, is it like a... It looks like a gaming card. Can I see? I've never seen one of these before. And they have the game back. I mean, it's cool, but it looks like a gaming card. That's really weird. Can you put, do, they have like tab, do they have like tabletop baseball game? Uh, oh, this is a newer one. This is from 2018. Uh, and that's uh, DJ LeMayhew. Jeremy Bonderman. Nothing, nothing. Giovanni Gallardo. Chicago Cubs. Yeah. Who is this? That this is. Nice oh, it's just a Chicago Cubs team card. Uh, this is Carl Pavano. If any of these names come up as names you think I should particularly uh, Google, let me know in the chat there. Jason Grimsley. That sounds like a name I should know. I'm probably completely wrong about that one. Uh, Joe Maurer. Any Hall of Famers? I should probably know those. Uh, yeah, Joe Maurer. What I'll probably do with a lot of these cards is I will uh, stack them up by team. And I'll put them on my uh, Etsy store. And people that, you know, like collecting team cards can uh, check it out. Giants, that's uh, Pablo Sandoval. I'll, sell them, I'll knock them out real cheap that way, hopefully. Get some of my money back. You're not going to get any of the good ones. You're going to get Franchise History, Tigers, Detroit Tigers card, I guess. Uh, if you no, buy one of those, you're not going to get the good one. I'm going to pick the good ones out of there. So, just so you all know. But if you're looking for some commons to fill your collection, we have no get down. That's what you're going to get. Uh, let's see. Steve Jeltz. James Mountain. Uh, Les Straker. Lloyd McClendon. Let's see. We got Rafael Palmero. Okay, that's that a name I cool. do recognize. I do recognize Palmero. Put that aside. 
I know it's probably not worth anything, but I like the name. I remember the name. J Bell. Shortstop for who? Pirates. Pirate shortstop. Red Stock Bruce Hurst. Oh, this is probably a 1990. Gotta be. 1989. That's been a 1989 card. Bruce Hurst from the Red Sox. Uh, let's see. Rick Monday. Another older card. Ooh. Looks like a 1984 Fleer. See, you, you kind of pull these kind of neat older cards out. I like the, the older stuff. What is this one here? This is an 87. There we go. 87 tops. Rance Mullins. Uh, let's see. Home run leaders. Benny Santiago. Wow, that looks kind of like an older card. Uh, let's see. It's like a 1988. Uh, let's see. Phillies. Louis Aguayo. Louis Aguayo from the Phillies. Uh, let me see. Here we go. And this year, let's see, I like these. Like I, said, I like the older cards here. Uh, 1988, it looks like. And this is so cool. Oh, I like that. Jorge Fabregas, Pacific. Stan Javier, I think it's another 87. Yvonne de Jesus, Fleer. 19, that's got to be a, whoa, this is a 1983. Look at that, I think that's the oldest card I pulled, 1983. I think I pulled an 80 football card, 1980 football card, and one of those other ones. Patrick. Mickey Tettleton. Uh, Rich Aurelia. This is really salty. At the end, it's like a... Uh, let's see, John Wathan. I think I know a little bit. Oh, that's uh, what year is that? Do you know, it's like an '85, I think. No, '86. John Wathan. We're getting close to the 1984 design that I like. Although I like, actually, that's a really nice design too. I, I like that. I like that design. Yeah, that's a really nice design. What's on his club? Uh, his it's bat. A 1986. Those all the stats are on the back. No, his bat. Well, I don't know. Oh, it's uh, it's a weight. They put a weight on the bat while they're doing batting practice. It makes the bat heavier, and then when they go to the regular size bat, then it uh, it's 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 like uh, building up their muscles. Dan Quisenberry, look at that. It looks like his freaking high school portrait with a mustache. Uh, let's see, William Chester Dolly. Hey, it has William. Oh, Bill Dolly. Dad, that is another. There's another Lynn Jones, another 1986. Patrick. <clears throat> Let's see. Eric Davis. It's a Don Russ 1990. I'm getting a lot of these 86 cards. Steve Lyons from the Red Sox. I actually like those, that design. Is he still it's playing? growing on me. I don't know. I doubt it. Not from 1986. Mark Sullivan. Another oh, 87 Don Russ. Getting a lot of 80s cards in this one. Uh, let's see. Buddy Biancalana. Yes, cards is kind of an expensive hobby. Uh, it's because you, you keep a lot of overhead because you get a ton of junk for the amount of maybe one or two cards that you're going to pull. Gary Gaetti. Uh, I don't believe so. Not yet. Uh, the name doesn't sound familiar. Uh, Glenn Cook, another 1986. Rangers. Power Ranger Age. And let's see, this is Scott Aldred from the Tigers. Uh, Kevin Mitchell. Oh, Kevin Romine is the next card. That's another older one. Uh, Kevin Mitchell. Kevin Romine. This is another. It's a 86 tops. Uh, Walt Terrell. Walt Terrell. What year is this one? 
Looks like a 1990 tops. Uh, New York Yankees, 85 team leaders. See. 85 team. Oh, well, so this is another 86 card. That's kind of a neat design for 1986, unless this is a newer card what that the they reprinted. Oh, man. See this card? Look I at the it. edge. It's all folded. It's all folded. Can I see? Oh, freaking. See, that, that sucks. Yeah. It's probably not worth anything anyway, but, you know, still, you hate to see that. Patrick, can you find All right, Patrick? this was Bob Green, oh, Bob Guerin. <laughs> I do not want to buy a fifteen hundred dollar box of football cards. You know? Uh, if you watch, I don't know if you if you ever seen Jab's family on uh, on YouTube. Uh, he just bought a two thousand dollar. Well, he not just. I'm not sure it was last year or whatever. They opened up a two thousand dollar box of baseball cards. Uh, it was nineteen seventy nine, tops, and they found a thirty six roughly. I don't know if they actually got it graded, but it was a really nice uh, Ozzy Smith rookie, and I think it listed on some sites for like thirty six thousand dollars. And he pulled it out of the box. Gary Carter. Dave Island. Spartan, my buddy. <laughs> Completely wasted. Completely Wait. wasted with these freaking stupid that, insert cards. That did wrong. Uh, wasted. Let's see. Jose Lind. Dad, when you were saying no, wasted. No, that's not what he was talking about, Well, Dad, when you were saying wasted, you said Jeremy, what you talking about, like, game Jeremy game. Hernandez. Uh, let's see. What year is this one? It's a stadium club, so it's not it's gonna be in the nineties, I think. I think that's when Stadium Club came out. Uh nineteen yes, yeah, so this is nineteen ninety two. I think this is second year. It's a uh, Bob Melvin. Uh Jeff Robinson. Steve Searcy. <laughs> Uh, there's another checklist. Landrum, Bill Landrum. Now I like the uh, I like the portraits they do on these. That's actually kind of kind of nice. I like that. Uh, let's see, Joe Bover from the Astros. Tim Scott. Chuck Noblock. I think I recognize that name from the twins. Chuck Noblock. Mike Gallego. Didn't somebody say something about that? Oh, Gary Gaetti. Never mind. Uh, let's see. No! I remember you telling me before, Derek Ken, your brother runs a card shop. Three boxes for 1500 No idea what he plans to sell them. Well, tell them to get in touch with uh, Jab's family on on YouTube. He does a lot of the he he buys boxes all the time. Uh, I know he goes to different stores. Part of his video is not just card openings. He'll go to different stores. He'll travel around uh, looking for different boxes of cards, looking for deals. You might want to maybe ask him to get in touch or check out his videos or something. Might be worthwhile. Subscribe to him. All right. Yep, Mike Gallego. Uh, Roger McDowell. I think I recognize Roger McDowell. Uh, Ray Fontenot. It's another 80 something, 86, I believe, or 87. That's an 87. Uh, Bill Wegman. Another 87. Randy Myers. We're getting down to it. Alvard Espinoza. Uh, I don't think I've seen any specific rookie cards, or at least nothing with the RC on them. Uh, let's see. Greg Hibbard. White Sox. Oop. Greg Hibbard. Uh, let's see. Howard Johnson. 
who, as you all know, owns a chain of restaurants throughout the country. Does he? Yeah. You've never been to Howard Johnson's? I don't think I ever have. Uh, let's see. George Frazier, pitcher for the Yankees. Have you already pulled a Frazier? Uh, yeah, I pulled a different Frazier, I think. George Frazier, pitcher for the Yankees. Mark Lemke. Mark Lemke. Yep, Lemke. Lemke. Uh, let's see. Gary Ward. So some of these names seem like they're hard oh, here to we go. Pronounce. Dale Murray. What year was Dale Murray's rookie? It's a Dale Murray card. He's been, he was playing a while when this card came out. And this came out in... I think this is an 85. Uh, let's see. Larry Milborn. Mike Fielder. That sounds familiar. Riley Jackson. I'll give you all a report if I find out any of these are worth anything. So far, it doesn't seem like it. Uh, Moose Haas. Uh, let's see. Darren Arthur Dalton. Darren Dalton. Another freaking card that's all messed up. Who is this Looks time? like it's all... Yeah, it's got a rip in it. See that? Look at that. Got a freaking that it it kind of rip in it. That's more than just a machine error. No. Well, these cards are all used. They probably collect all the cards. They buy a bunch of... Uh, what this company does, Fairfields, they buy a, just a bunch of junk cards. And whatever makes it in there makes it in there. And they package them up in bulk like this. I've seen uh, companies do that with comic okay. books, too. When you go to uh, uh, Ollie's and you get your packages of, like, five or ten comics or whatever it is. That's what they do. They just buy a bunch of old comics and they package them up that way. Spike Owen. Uh, Luis in Luis Polonia. Dwayne Ward. Can you get repeat cards in one of these boxes? Oh, yeah. Joel Skinner. Uh, like I said, I, I told you I opened up them two football. I got that one $40 card. Uh, it was an Aaron Luck uh, rookie card. And I actually got two different versions. And one of them was the cheapo version. Not the cheapo version, but the, le the, more pop the more common version. And the other one was kind of the rarer version. Greg Harris. Which surprised the heck out of me. I'm like, I think I already got this guy's card. And I looked at it and I saw it was different. I went on to uh, eBay and it listed anywhere between like $15 and $50. It just all depends on condition and what people are willing to pay for it. I don't think Aaron Luck plays anymore, so his stats aren't going to get any better. John Dobson, Red Sox. Ooh, I like the Red Sox. I'm a Red Sox fan too. Uh, let's see. Franco. Uh, John Franco, Jackie Gutierrez, again, 1987 card. We kept coming back. I'm sorry, I'm just reading over some of these comments. Uh, let's see. There's a thing called Pop Century. It's like $180. Four cards of celebrities signed and pre-graded. I think I've seen that. I think because uh, uh, I've been on some of these online card sites. This is uh, Jimmy Khalifa or Sammy Khalifa. Sorry, Sammy Khalifa. Uh, Bob Melvin. I had another Bob Melvin card, I think. So this is probably a double. Yeah, I think I've seen that on some of the card sites I've been on. And you can get all kinds of rookies or not rookies, uh, celebrity uh, signed cards, autograph cards. Greg Matthews. What year is this one again? 88. It's an 88 Greg Matthews. Adam Peterson. Dad. What? Do you know who signed that card? Uh, off the top of my head, I can't remember, but I'm going to look it up here in a minute. Uh, let's see. Luis Polonia. I mean the first one that we bought. Uh. Oh my god, my cat's just walking all over everything. At least he's not meowing. Polonia. Meow. I'm almost to the end, guys. Like, uh, yeah, I only have two, two cards left. Let him stop. 
Dan Wilson, and Mike Fishlin. All right, so that is the end of my baseball and football cards. Uh, we're going to look up that other card, and uh, maybe I'll post it on Twitter later. I'll post, let's see, what I came up with for results. This is my pile of cards. So uh, thanks for stopping by, guys. Uh, Durican, let's see. I'm going to have to get in touch with you. Does your brother have a, uh, have like an online store? Durican? Uh, DM me. The, his, his, not his email address. I don't want to talk to him personally. But if he's got an online store, DM me his uh, website. I won't check it out. All right. So, uh, hey, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, nostalgia overload. Yeah, wait till I get into the, uh, wait until I get into the uh, the Marvel cards and the DC cards that I just ordered. Uh, that's wicked, wicked uh, nostalgia for me. So we'll be doing that another time. I also have some, I have some crap packs. I don't even think I'm gonna do. It's a waste of money. But I've got uh, some Walking Dead cards I want to do. I will do those a little, you know, another time. So uh, don't forget to back Oddity. Uh, we'll be closing down Monday. Oh, <laughs> tell your brother to get with it. Update his uh, update his his website. He's missing out on the big opportunity because I think that's. I would think that would be the way to go to sell cards, especially if you want to get rid of bulk cards. Would be uh, the online store. All right, so uh, hey guys, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Uh, again, check out Oddity. We're closing out the main campaign on Monday. Uh, we've got uh, some new. We got two new tiers up. Uh, the the home sweet home tier, which is the uh, the new cover with the uh, with the uh, you know the trailer and the tree, and we've got the Odd Army tier, which is all three covers. You can get all three books, and that's uh, we discounted that one, so you can get them all really good, a really good price for those. So yeah, check out Oddity Madness in the Marsh on Indiegogo. Uh, I'm going to log off and uh, go check on dinner. I'm supposed to be cooking for the kids while the wife's at work. All right, so y'all take it easy. I'll talk to y'all later. And we don't tell our job. I didn't hear the temperature you recommended, so I used the one on the left. Turn that down. Five.